welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys my room decor DIYs. If you haven't seen my previous video, it is my updated room tour. This is my room tour video right here. And hopefully you guys get some ideas or inspiration. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe to my channel for more videos and follow me on social media. I post on Instagram regularly and I also respond to anybody that messages me with any questions and all that. Um, and I do appreciate those that keep up with me and follow me. And let's just get into the video. For this DIY, I'm gonna take some canvases and acrylic paint and paint brushes and I'm gonna paint one canvas purple. I'm just painting the whole canvas purple and this kind of matches my room which I'm going for and I really like this light purple color. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna add patches of like circles in light pink and then I'm gonna add a darker pink with strokes of lines to make a rose and then I'm gonna add like little petals of green and my quote which is love is the beauty of the soul and I just used a black acrylic paint for that and I freehand. For this DIY I just googled a Miss Dior perfume sketch style in black and white and I just printed it out and I will be using this as a reference guide to paint and freehand draw my Dior bottle. Then I added some purple stripes and I painted the bottle pink, dark pink and light pink. This DIY is pretty straightforward. I just took a frame that I had and I printed out this quote and just added little watercolor flowers with pink paint and I also did the same for this one with a lipstick printout and then I kind of just painted what colors I liked on um, the printout. For this project I am working with frames again and I'm just taking the picture out of the frame and putting a new picture inside. So this is pretty straightforward again. So I'm using this cardstock pink paper that I got at Michael's and I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue down some stuff that I want. So I will be taking a Chanel logo printout and cutting stripes of pink from the cardstock paper and I'm just using this as like a stripe background so I just pretty much glued it down. For the next frame I just got a quote off of Google that I really liked and I printed it out and put it on cardstock pink paper and I think it looks so cute, so much better. You can definitely make it your style by choosing the colors of your room or the colors that you would like. For my vanity desktop, I decided to glam it up by using marble vinyl paper. So it was super easy but gave it a nice little touch to my vanity. So this was very inexpensive, like $10 on Amazon, and it's really easy to use. It's basically a giant piece of sticker. So I'm just cutting it out and kind of eyeballing where everything should be cut, and I'm just placing it on top. It was super easy to do, and it gave it a better glam touch, and it's super smooth, and um, I think it just makes the vanity look so much better, and you could do this with any vanity. I also redid my old clock, and I just added the marble paper, and I painted the hands of the clock black, and it was really, really easy. last minute DIY. Very simple again and really easy. I'm taking the contact vinyl paper and some sparkly foam paper. 
and I'm just taking off this Hello Kitty that I do not need anymore and cleaning off the surface and estimating where the marble paper should be cut and as well as the sparkly glitter silver foam paper. After cutting the vinyl marble paper, I'm just taking it off the sticker and placing it right on top. Super easy, super simple, but it makes it so much cuter. And there we go, cut perfectly. And next I'm gonna add the silver triangle on the corner. I think this adds like a really nice touch and it looks a lot more glam. <laughs> Okay, so this DIY is really random. I took this old dress that I had, but I still really liked. I loved the pattern and how sparkly it was, so I reused this. You can definitely reuse and upcycle any dress or clothing item that you have. And so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut where I want. I do have a pillow underneath that I don't really use and I don't really care for, so I'm just going to shape it to that pillow and this is what I came up with. I just hot glued the edges down and this is how it looked. This is a bonus DIY. It's not really a DIY because I just bought it. So I got this chair off of Five Below for $5 and it's just white so it fits with my room and then I have this rug that's like furry and I got it from Ross and I just put it on top. It's really easy, really inexpensive and it adds like a glam touch to the chair rather than it just being all white and simple. So I think it looks really nice.